Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Shayla collection with Colourpop Cosmetics. I am seriously so excited to review this for you guys because this is a good collection. As always, I'll be giving you guys three demos, swatches, dupes, my review, my thoughts, the whole shebang pretty much. This is just what we do here on my channel. You guys know how detailed I like to go into my reviews. But before we get started with the video, I just want to tell you guys that I did buy the matte luxe lipsticks, the whole like new collection. And I also got the new Fame palette, which is their new cool tone palette. So I did buy those two. Those two are on, well, it's not actually on its way. It's coming. It's processing. Hopefully I will get those very soon, that way I can do a review for you guys, but I know I will get asked if I did pick those things up, and I did, so I just want to tell you guys now in the intro that I did pick it up. But anyway, let's focus on today's video, which is the Makeup Shayla collection. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, seeing my three demos, my swatches, and everything like that, then just continue watching. Okay, first things first, let me give you guys some product info, what is actually in this collection. So Makeup Shayla is a very, very talented makeup artist. I've been following her for like probably about a year or almost a year now. Through this collection you can see that this collection was created by a makeup artist but you can tell that this wasn't just like an everyday person making a collection. For example, My Life is Eva. She's not a makeup artist, she's just a blogger and don't get me wrong, I love her collection No Shade but you can tell with this collection, this is a collection. Okay, so the first thing in this collection is the Perception Palette. I think this is is like the star of the collection. This is their 16 pan eyeshadow palette and I'm not sure if this is going to be a new thing with Colourpop now because their Fame palette which is their next new palette it's in the 16 pan as well. I'm not sure if the 12 pan is you know not going to happen anymore but it is $23. It does come with a mirror and it does have the names on the front and also on the back. It's actually not a sticker anymore. It's just on the actual palette which is great. And this is the kind of the whole concept of Shayla's collection. It's purple obviously her favorite color with rose gold like splattered all over it like paint like an artist. Then we move on to the lip colors. So you can get the lip bundle for $21. You'll get three of the luxe lipsticks. The luxe lipsticks is $7 each. So you're not really saving money if you get the lip bundle. I guess you just save some clicks. You don't need to click add to cart, add to cart, add to cart when you can just go add to cart once and get all three. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. I will actually show you what the colors look like a little bit later when we get into more details. I just want to tell you guys, you know, what's in this collection and the prices. Then you get an ultra glossy lip, which is $6 and this is called Neat Freak. And then you get two loose glitters. These both are $7. This is pretty much the whole collection. You can get the whole collection for $59. So $60, bucks, the whole collection, which I think is an awesome deal. So yeah, now that we got all the product info out of the way, let's go ahead and start talking about each individual product. So first, let's talk about the palette because like I said, I feel like this is the most exciting thing in this whole collection. Guys, this is such an amazing palette. You guys already know I love color pulse formula but I don't know why I feel like as time goes by I feel like the formula is getting a lot better. I don't know if Shayla had anything to do with her specific palette with the formula but I truly feel that this like these matte shades were like a lot easier and like Colourpop's eyeshadow formula to begin with was very very easy to blend out already but this was just so easy like it was too easy you know what I mean. Okay this mirror is going to bug me how I'm gonna cover this so I don't blind you guys. Okay, so in here you get 16 shadows, there are 4 mattes, and the rest are kind of metallic satin shades. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, you would know like, I always want a half amount of mattes, half amount of shimmers, and for there to only be 4 mattes in here, and for me to love this palette, you know it's a good palette because the mattes in here is just it's just what you need. Although you will always use these mattes for every single look that you do, like I use the same transition, I use the orange shade in I think all 3 demos. All the three demos look completely different. I think she did a really good job of choosing the mattes to be in here. I mean, I feel like you could add like, you know, one or two more mattes, but it's good. It's good enough to create really cohesive looks. And just the color range in here, so you get like your rosy tones, 
you get your golds, and then you get your pops of colors, and then you get your really dark, smoky shades. I used every single shade in this palette besides four. So if it was like a normal 12 pan eyeshadow palette, I would have used all the shades. But because this is a bigger palette, I didn't use all shades. So the shades that I didn't get to use are these two here, which are the like rosy tones. I didn't use Titus and also Sassy. So those are the four shades I didn't use, which are all shimmer shades. But for sure, I will be using this palette in future videos. I just think everything about this palette is just so cohesive. Everything goes well together. This palette is just so amazing. Like it is a huge, huge standout in this collection. I think it's one of ColourPop's best eyeshadow palettes. This collection is limited edition, I believe. I feel like all the collabs are limited edition. So make sure like you guys, like you must get on this. I highly, highly recommend it. It's also like a really good everyday palette as well. Like with the transition shades, you can just pop one of these, you know, more everyday kind of metallics on you have everything in this one palette and I think it's a really solid palette for what it is and you guys know I've talked about it before about Colourpop's satin satin matte formula where it is a matte base and there's like little specks of glitters and they call it a matte but technically it's not a matte because it has glitters in it so shade and satulon Sat satulon I don't know English, okay? But this shade over here and this shade over here, I would consider to be the ColourPop satin shade that I hate so much. But they go on so nicely. This whole palette is so consistent. It's crazy. I wanted to do more than three looks with this palette. If I had more time, I just didn't want this video to go up so late because I'm always behind ColourPop reviews anyway and I didn't want to like lag it on for another week and make you guys wait. So I just stuck to my three. But I will definitely create more looks with this palette. I haven't been so excited for a palette in a very, very long time. I haven't seen a palette that makes me want to create more than three looks when I do these kind of videos. Like, I wanted to go to like five or six, you know what I mean? Like, the choices are endless and I love this palette so much. So now we move on to the Luxe Lipsticks. She created three shades from this formula. The first one that we have here is called Quickie. And Colourpop describes this to be a peachy nude. We have, ooh, I'm probably saying that wrong because she has like a specific way when, when she says this. But this shade, Colourpop describes it to be a warm peach. Peach. And then the last shade is called Comansis, and this is described to be a soft pinky brown. So as you guys know, I love the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. There's no surprise. I think I own every single one of them now. When I purchased this collection, I got pinkies up. So I think I literally have all the Luxe Lipsticks. So you guys know, I really, really do love it. I love the shade range and I really do like these shades in here. But two of them are quite similar to existing shades that ColourPop already has. And I'm going to quickly share that with you guys. So Quickie, when I swatched this on my lips, I was like, happy. This looks like Abby. So when on the lips, I will insert a cutaway and also a photo of them two on the lips. So on the bottom lip, I have Quickie and then on my top lip, I have Abby. And when it's on the lips, they look identical. They look so, so much alike. I feel like I could go out in public and nobody could tell like, oh, she's wearing two different lipsticks on her lips. But when you swatch them side by side, they honestly do look a little bit different, but they are very, very similar. I mean, if you guys already have Abby, you don't necessarily have to get Quickie, but if you're like, like a color pop collector like me and then I mean you gotta get both <laughs> also the shade common sis which is the pinky soft brown that they describe it to be I thought it looked very very similar to still crazy to me these are both kind of like the cool tone mauvey pink as ColourPop describes it common sis is more of like a brown mauve and then still crazy is more of a pinky mauve but again when I show you guys the photo on my lips on the bottom is Comansis, and then on my top lip, it's still crazy. They look very, very similar. I feel like, again, if I went out, nobody could really tell that she's wearing two different lipsticks on her lips. Again, if you have still crazy, not really necessary to get Comansis. And then we have, ooh, which is the lip color that I'm wearing right now. And I thought I wasn't gonna like this shade because it looked very like bright and neon and pastel and these kind of shades typically don't look good on my skin tone. Honestly, when I was watching this shade with all three demos, I wanted to wear this shade for the final look because it just goes so well with this eyeshadow palette, especially if you pop that orange in your crease 
it just brings the look together and I just think it looks really really good so surprisingly this is one of my favorites I don't have anything like this from Colourpop or from any of my whole lipstick collection I don't have a shade like this for my Luxe lipsticks recommendations I definitely would get this one because the other two um, Quickie and Come On Sis these are kind of more common shades I feel like ooh is more uh, more unique because I don't have anything like this. The thing with the Lux lipstick formula, now that I've got to use it a lot more from my first video, is that the lighter shades um, with the Lux lipstick formula is that it just kind of skips. You really got to build it up and pat it on because if you keep swiping, you're going to swipe off some products and you're going to see your lip underneath. But the more of the deeper shades like Come On Sis, one swipe, beautiful. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit different from the shade range that you get. I thought I would just give you a little update on my thoughts on the Lux Lipstick Review because it has been a while. Okay, and then we move on to the last lip product which is the Ultra Glossy Lip. This is called Neat Freak. Colourpop describes this to be a peachy champagne with pink and gold glitters. So this to me is kind of like a clear gloss and then it just has a lot of specks of glitters. And it's not chunky glitters, it's really finely milled, really shimmers in there. Not my favourite gloss in the world. World, I do feel like it's a little bit too metallic for me but it's definitely a gloss that I will keep and will continue using you guys will see me use it it is a very very beautiful high shine gloss so if you guys love glosses I mean duh pick it up and now we're gonna move on to the loose glitters so the first time I tried the loose glitters I think when they first came out was with the holiday collection wasn't a big fan of that because I felt like it was very chunky and it just didn't look good on my skin but I don't know I really like these I don't use these with it when I'm applying it to my cheeks I just like to use it dry and because these are more darker shades obviously Shayla is a lot deeper than me she created these to be her perfect highlighter and for someone who's a lot lighter than her I was afraid that these were gonna look really bad on me so obviously pose the darker one Colourpop describes this to be a warm copper so the deeper one this one is obviously way too dark the ones I applied it to my cheeks if I look straight it just looks like a copper streak on my face so this is something definitely that I could use as an eyeshadow or just kind of like lightly dust it all over the body and then we have Boomin. So Boomin is just a pinch too dark. So the way I can make this work is just use a very very light hand with it and just apply it to my cheeks and that's what I'm wearing today and it's beautiful. It's so stunning, so reflective, so wet looking. I noticed that when I like you know kind of got a bit heavy handed and applied it like on this side um, when I look straight, it does look like a kind of like a golden shadow, like a streak on my face. I think if you're any lighter than me, these two highlights won't work for your skin. If you want to use it for eyeshadows, I mean that will look amazing, but for highlighting, this is too dark. I think when the holiday collection came out and I tried the loose glitters, I think I just used it wrong. I think I applied it with a wet brush onto my face and that's why it looked so chunky and choppy. But just use a dry brush in my opinion. Um, if you want to use it as an eyeshadow, obviously use it wet. So overall guys, this collection to me is a beautiful collection. Honestly, everything in this collection I do recommend. It just depends on what you already have and also your skin tone. If none of those things are an issue I mean it's a beautiful collection it's limited edition guys so I would highly recommend that you jump on it when you can but yeah that is pretty much my review and my thoughts I know I talked a lot I'm like I need I need a drink right now hopefully you found that helpful let's go ahead and get started with the swatches and also the three demos So first I'm going to take the shade Culture and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm putting that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions and slowly blending it up towards my brow bone.
Next up, I'll be using the shade Revenge and this is going into the outer third of my eye. I am first just patting on the pigment and then slowly blending it out. I just want to get that first initial color on first and then you can further blend. What is ever left on my brush, I like to bring it towards the inner part of my crease. As always, I'm just going in with my previous brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended all together. Using the shade played out, I'm going to use the shade to define the outer V of my eye. Taking this on a pencil brush, I am working it in towards a C kind of motion and you can see it better than what I'm doing than me explaining. Then taking the shade Diva, I am placing this into the inner third of my eye, slowly taking it towards the middle of my eye, blending it out to the matte shadows. For my lower lash line, I'll be using the shade Shade. That was so hard to say. I'm just going to smoke this out on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner. This shade is one of those satin shades where it's a matte and it has a little bit of glitters in it. But I found that this shade was very, very easy to blend. It wasn't choppy and it was perfect. Then we'll be using the shade September and this is going right on top of shade. And this is just going to bring out the glitters that are actually in the color shade. Using the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby, I am going to use this to line my bottom waterline. Quickly taking the shade Unbothered, this is going to be my brow bone and also my inner corner highlight. Then I'll be taking the loose highlight in the shade Boomin and I'm going to place this on one side of my cheek and as you guys can see, it is beautiful. I feel like it's a touch too dark like I mentioned in the review but if you use a light hand and if you use your brush dry, it looks stunning. And then I'll be taking the shade Pose on the other side. It looks great when it hits the light but once you look straight, you do see a little streak, like a little dark streak on your cheek. So this shade is a bit too dark for me but again, when it hits the light, it looks amazing. And this is demo one completed. I decided to pair it with the Ooh Luxe lipstick. And for my lashes, I am wearing the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. So to get started with demo 2, I am taking the shade Culture and this is going to be our transition shade once again. Just putting it straight into the crease using windshield wiping motions. Culture is going to be our transition shade for all three looks. Next, we'll be taking the shade Thick and this is going into the outer corner of our eyes and also the inner corner of our lids, keeping the middle blank. We're going to do like a halo cut crease. So just focusing it on the outer third first and then taking a smaller brush to get into the inner corner of my lids. And then by just sweeping everything over, connecting the shade thick from the inner corner to the outer corner into our crease.
taking the shade Played Out, we're doing the same kind of motions just with a smaller brush and focusing it into a smaller area. That way Played Out is not taking over the shade thick. And we are somewhat getting a gradient. Next I'll be taking my concealer and we're going to start cutting out the halo cut crease. I like to first just place the concealer into the center of my eyelid. I will look up and that is going to mark a line for me. And if I go past this line, that's going to ensure that I get no transfer. This is the kind of technique that I always do for any cut crease. And then towards around the edges, I just slowly blend out the concealer, making sure that there are no harsh lines with the concealer. And I feel like when I do this, um, any shadow that I place on top will blend more easier. I also like to take just a really fine definer brush and just go up up to that crease just to really cut everything out. Using the shade TF, this is going right into the center of our lids, right on top of the concealer. I didn't set my concealer, I never do when I do my cut creases. I just feel like when the concealer is a little bit tacky, whatever you place on top will grab on a little bit easier. Then we'll be taking the shade 14 and this is going to blend the gold and the brown together and I'm just pretty much stamping and swiping to get the perfect blend. 14 is a shimmer shade so I am using a lot of shimmers on my eyes which isn't like me but I think blue and gold just complement each other so so incredibly nice. That's why I decided to go with this color combo. Just putting it on the inner and outer part of the cut crease making sure everything is nicely blended. Going back and forth with my brushes making sure everything is nice and blended you know. And quickly just taking the shade played out which is the dark brown I'm taking a very fine definer brush like a very little one and just going above the crease a little bit I'm using the tiniest bit of shadow on this brush but I'm just going to like line my cut crease this is just going to pop out the cut crease a little bit more and define it going back into the shade thick I'm gonna run this on my lower lash line from outer to inner corner just really smoking it out And then taking the shade Stallion, this is going right on top of thick. I'm just pressing this a little bit closer to my lash line. That way we're not overtaking the shade thick. I still want that orange to peep through. Taking another ColourPop Creme Gel Liner, this one is in Swerve, which is just the black. I'm going to tight line my bottom waterline. And this is the completed look for look number two. For the lip color that I decided to go with was Quickie. I just feel like a nude would be perfect for this look just because the eyes are so bold. I don't want to take away from it. But for my lashes, I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes. Again, we'll be taking the shade Culture for our transition shade, just using the same kind of windshield wiping motions into the crease. Taking the shade Thick, this is going into the outer corner of my lid space and then slowly blending what is ever left into the inner part of my crease.
Then I'll be taking the shade played out. This is also going into the outer corner of my lid as well. I'm just going to use a smaller brush, focus this in a smaller section. That way we are creating some definition into the eye look. And now it's time to cut the crease once again. I am doing a half cut crease for this demo, but it is the same kind of technique as demo two. So I'm just gonna place the concealer into the inner corner of my lid space and just bring it up to where I think it needs to be. I look up, it's going to mark my line. I go above that line. And also where I take the concealer, I'm just taking my finger to blend everything out. Then we'll be using the shade IE. This is going right on top of the concealer, but mainly in the middle of my lid where the concealer kind of finishes. And I'm just gonna blend that out towards the outer edges. And then we will take the shade Unbothered and this is going right into the inner part of the concealer place where we left blank and we're just going to mesh it towards the shade IE by just swiping and tapping and just making sure everything is nice and blended together. I am taking the shade plate out once again and just going above my crease line just to define the crease a little bit more. Going back into the shade Thick, this is going on our bottom waterline once again, just from outer to inner corner, really smoking it out. And then we'll take the shade Played Out, and this is going on our bottom waterline once again. And lastly, just using another ColourPop Creme Gel Liner. This one is called Fastlane. I'm going to use this to tightline my bottom waterline. Okay, actually there's one more step. We are taking the shade Unbothered and I'm just going to use this to highlight my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes. And this is the completed look for demo 3 for my lip color. I decided to go with ooh again because I feel like it really brought out the orange that's in my crease. And then for my lashes, I am wearing the Serene Light from House of Lashes again. Guys, I feel like this is going to be a long video, but that wraps up everything for my video today from my review to my swatches to my three demos. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you guys did find this video helpful to watch, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. It would help me out so much. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this collection. Did you guys pick up anything? What is your favorite thing? Or are you guys going to pick up anything after watching this review? And before I sign off, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for voting for me for the next face awards tomorrow when this video goes live tomorrow they're gonna announce the top 15 so at this stage today is Sunday I don't know if I am in the top 15 or not but I mean whether we get in or not I just want to thank you guys so so much for the support a lot of you guys have been telling me that you guys have been voting every single day and you guys are just supporting me and like honestly I want to cry if I don't want to roll my makeup today's Mother's Day I need to go out soon you guys are seriously the best thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy busy day just to support your girl I appreciate it so so much 
much. We are almost at 40k and when we hit 40k I already have my giveaway like ready to go. I'm gonna stop rambling. I don't know why I feel like I'm rambling so much because I haven't had breakfast yet so um well anyway let's wrap things up. If you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts on this collection. I want to chat with you guys as we always do after every upload. Thank you guys so so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for always supporting me. I truly truly appreciate it and I hope you can feel it through my videos that I love you guys and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Obviously.